So for the final challenge, we are going to test our waterproof capabilities of each of these boots. And I'm a little bit nervous about this because I have a long day ahead of me and I don't have very many pairs of socks. Hopefully my feet don't get too wet. As we can see here, contender number one is actually doing okay in these conditions. But the truth is, I still felt water go into my boot. Contender number two is definitely not holding up too well here. I can see the suede soaking up water and also I'm getting water in my shoes, no doubt. The Armadillo 2's water resistant membrane inside the boot seems to be pretty solid so far. These are holding up a bit better for sure. Let's take a close look and see what the results are. Contender number one actually did do pretty well. I did notice a little bit of water in there and I think that that has to do with just the height of the boot itself. The other thing is, is that you can see the suede here is absorbing the water. So the water resistance of the outside, it wasn't really done very well. Contender number two was the worst, actually. My foot got wet and uh, although they look pretty clean for the most part, the big thing is, is that just the height of this boot. So as I was trekking through the water, water spilled over the top and went into the inside and my foot got wet. Contender number three, the Armadillo 2. This one, hands down, is my favorite boot and that's just because, especially the height. So there's a waterproof membrane that runs through this thing and it goes up much higher than the other boots. And the big thing about that is it gives you confidence in being able to do water crossings and not get your feet wet. And the thing is, is that as you're going through water, water is not splashing up into your boot. You're able to go actually in deeper water and be able to be confident doing that. So for challenge number one, we saw the Armadillo 2 absolutely crush it in the grip challenge. For challenge number two, we saw that Armadillo 2 was able to withstand quite a beating. And for challenge number three, the water crossing, once again, the Armadillo 2 took it home for the win. So what does that mean? The Armadillo 2 is the ultimate winner of all three challenges.